Hi, welcome to my video. This is the uh, plastic we use to cover my Canadian Tire portable car garage, which is uh, 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, 8 feet high. Uh, 1105 is the part number. Uh, instead of buying another tarp for it, uh, I got my local boat marina cover your boat uh, dealer to come and uh, shrink wrap it in this plastic. This plastic is pretty interesting. It's about two mil thick, very slippery. As you can see there, about two mil thick, and I'll show you the results. This is the uh, Canadian Tire Portable Car Shelter. It's uh, 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, and eight feet tall at the peak. My local boat dealer came and gave it a shrink wrap which is a material that they put on the boats in the fall and you can see that it's a very shiny plastic and there's the back side of it and they, they put it all together and then as you can see from the seams there's some seams there you can see they, they shrink wrap that together first they seal all the seams I call it Frankensteining, and then they seal the whole thing. What happens is they run over it with a propane torch, and it just makes it all really stretch tight, like a drum. You can hear it. And there's the other side here. They put some wood along the bottom to secure it. 10 foot, two by four at the back couple of uh, 10 footers along the side and that gives it a foundation we went inside and we made a frame up for it at a two by fours which fit just inside the uh, opening for the door and we left the original tarp in here and you can see uh, different densities and colors to the tarp. Don't let that throw you off. What that is, is when they're using the uh, heat guns to seal it, the uh, um, uh, tarp, the plastic blue tarp, the shrink wrap, it, uh, it shrinks at different rates as the heat hits it. And sometimes there's a little teeny bit more heat and sometimes there's not. The fellow that did this assured me that he's done uh, some uh, boats and he's done some portable garages like this and uh, they have lasted four to five years. Now my original cover for this as you can see I've had to make little repairs to it. They tend to rip right at the corners and this was all put together properly and carefully they last about two years and that's it. So if you have one of these portable car garages from Canadian Tire and your cover is going and I believe a cover from the Canadian Tire is roughly about four hundred dollars or so I'm going to go down and ask. I know the whole garage is uh, oh, it depends on which Canadian Tire store but you're looking about seven hundred dollars for the whole garage complete and you're looking around four and change-ish to five-ish for the tarp. I'm going to find out today and maybe if I have to add a little uh, bit onto this I will. But uh, I suggest find your local boat slash marina slash shrimp rack place. Ask them what the cost would be to shrimp shrink wrap your uh, portable car garage. They usually charge around ten to twelve dollars a foot on a garage like this, 20 foot long, plus the drop over is eight, so you're looking at 28 times or 28 times ten dollars or 28 times whatever your difference is. Hope you found this uh, interesting. Leave any comments you have afterwards and have a nice day. Hi. I'm Rick and I'm ending this video off for you about getting your portable car garage shrink wrap by your local boat dealer. It works out to about 
ten dollars or more a foot you can price it out in your area <clears throat> the advantages of this are it doesn't flap in the wind it'll last longer than the original tarp or the replacement tarp and it um, holds your whole framework together so there's less movement inside also and you can do it with your old tarp underneath which makes it twice as good anyways if you've bought one of these portable car garages Canadian Tire, you can pay about $600 for this one. It's about 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, about 8 feet high. You can get a replacement uh, uh, covering for it at Canadian Tire, it's in Canada here, $37,1159 is a part number, it's about $200, or $37,1623, which is about $220. Now this cost me roughly $200 let's say $80, but it's going to last for six or seven years. That's almost going to be buying three more tarps at uh, $200 a piece. So there is a cost saving. Anyways, uh, local shrink wrap boat dealers will take care of your problem as far as shrink wrapping it. They can do bigger, they can do smaller. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know because um, buying the, uh, the tarps and using them is a no-win because they hold the snow this blue stuff doesn't uh, they're not quite as thick this blue stuff is thicker they uh, shrink wrap tight the other tarps don't stay as tight uh, and they don't flap in the wind which is what destroys your regular tarps so anyways hope you like this video leave any comments you may have at the end and you have a nice day bye Hi, it's Rick again. Uh, just an add-on to the end of my video. Uh, my garage is mounted on 2x4s all the way around the base, completely solid wood. It makes it very easy to move. Uh, when they put the plastic on over top of it and then they screwed the baseboards that the plastic was uh, yeah, attached to, to the wood at the bottom. And I also have pins down about two feet into the sand. We're on sand here, just in case the wind blows really strong so it doesn't uh, tilt over really easy to move with a base like that and if it ever does rot off I can just put another one back on because you just buy 16 foot 2 by 4s cut them to size screw them together bingo bango you're done anyways I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, leave any comments you have at the end thank you very much